attack with it. Because it's just going to deal two to both of us. Alright, so... Do I want to play Tainted or Read the Bones is the question. I think I want to play Read the Bones because right now this hand's really soft to a Siege Rhino next turn. And we need to dig for an answer to that. So, like, we're probably bottoming... Yeah, we're definitely double bottoming lands here. We're looking for Ruinous Path. Bottom. Okay, I'm just going to move this chat onto screen here. So you can see... Where it says we put a card on we put a card on the bottom and we put a card on the bottom and then we drew the two cards that we bottomed, including a card that's only a two of. All right, just just so we're all on the same page. Is Chandra modern playable in a control shell? Maybe that Chandra that Chandra is really powerful. And he's got Siege Rhino here, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna play the Tainted Remedy out. And play a Scoured Baron to gain a life, I think. Next turn. Oh, did he poop again? We are already filing for Cobb this year. We're up a game. It's fine. He's only got one Siege Rhino here, so... Do we just draw the bottom card? We just got very unlucky. I mean... This Remedy would have been a Duress or a Seeker of the Way, neither of which are very good in this situation. This card is at least turning uh, this card off. I, I mean, I don't think we have indisputable proof of anything. We have a second Blighted Fen, and we have... We had one Caves in our hand already, didn't we? And we bottomed another? God, that's funny. When, when you go about discussing the fact whether or not the Moto Shuffler could possibly be bugged, I would like you to consider this. How good is the rest of Magic Online? With how good the rest of this application, and it can't possibly be bugged, right? Right? <laughs> At the end of the game, draw cards until you see the bottom two. If it will let us draw cards, sometimes, most of the time, in fact, the draw cards button doesn't even work. Alright, we're going to nine. If he... Um, if he doesn't have another threat here, he's got a Sylvan Advocate. That's pretty good. I think Seeker is great. I also think it's a great game one card, so you board it out a lot. We're going to secure for four here. Uh, we've I've beaten... I've played Four Color Company once and Band Company once, and I've beat, beat it both times. Uh, I live in Central Time Zone, so it's 10.30 here. Hollowed Moonlight. Alright, so we're just getting savaged. Um, hmm. Hey, bud. So what can we do here? We can play... We can play Blighted Fen. We can ruin his path, the Siege Rhino. And then next turn, we can play... We can play Secure the Waste for two and chump block the two things he attacks with. And then untap and Blighted Fen him. Wait, really, Steven? Wait, how are we dead? Uh, Tainted Remedy came out after, after the Siege Rhino. Um, I killed the Rhino because it has Trample. That's, that's why we killed the Siege Rhino. Come on, chat, get it together. 
Get it together, chat. Is another hollowed moonlight? Excuse me, where's my bucket to throw up into? Even if he woke up Needle, we'd secure for two and go chump chump. It's fine. Nowhere near lethal. The secure the waste was being cast as three mana fog. Yeah, we're literally literally casting fog. It's fine. You, you'll see me use my secures really aggressively as fogs more often than not. P I think people are too afraid to like be required to get a bunch of value out of this card, and you're just like, it's just not something you have to do. Okay, so this is a situation where um, you have to keep in mind that we can't beat anything. So we can't play around anything. So, if he's got removals, he's got removals, and we die. Like, that's just, that's just the, the TLDR of it. He has Hollow Moonlight. Okay, and he's fogging that. So now, if he kills this, we're dead. Which he probably can, because he's got a bunch of cards in hand. I think all the fast matter should be gone in, all the fast matter should be gone in Modern, including Moxel Pole. All right, well, we're not dead. Oh, my God. He's attacking Gideon for eight? Yeah, deal. Gain eight. G Gideon, be gone. You have, you have successfully removed my Gideon from the table, opponent. Well, if we draw a third Secure the Waste... You know, I'm on the fence. Maybe we're going to try and bring in Planner Outburst in this matchup. Maybe at least one so we can uh, Dark Petition for it. I think we want access to a Sweeper in situations like this. Rituals are a little bit different because they're more specific and they're not completely free. Like, zero... I consider fast mana... Fast mana is m mana that doesn't cost you anything. Rituals cost you two to get started. Yeah, yeah, so like we need we need planner outburst in a spot like this or another secure. Utter end. So what can we do here? We can utter end this idiot and then play Gideon and make a token. And then again hope he continues to have stone nothing or make the bad attacks. Chrome Mox and Mox Diamond are, when I say don't cost you anything, I don't mean they don't cost you in terms of the game. I mean they don't cost you anything in terms of mana. All right, so he's just got a, I mean, I guess I don't concede because last time he messed up and attacked Gideon. So, like, if he messes up and attacks Gideon again here without killing my guy, uh, we could draw secure and begin this game possibly. Don't try and split hairs over definitions. When I say fast mana shouldn't be legal in modern, I mean mana that doesn't cost you mana to play. That being said, non-fast mana can still be too powerful. Seething Song going from 3 to 5, probably too powerful. Summer Bloom going from 2 to 6, probably too powerful. I, we're, We are dead here, but I'm not going to concede because I want him to show us that he knows we're dead. Opponent, opponent figured out that it was lethal. Worth knowing. I want one to two planner outbursts. Oh, I forgot to draw. I forgot to draw. I saw it just, there's a little bit of delay. I forgot to do it. Man. I don't, I think I just want one outburst with the dark petition. Maybe the Tainted Remedy is too cute. It's probably too cute. Let's just do this. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. I just, I don't think, I think fast mana is one of the, all of the most broken things in modern involve fast mana. It's basically the, the TLDR of it.
Jacob, don't attack your brother. Hey, get off of him. Turd? Oh, he's a brat, huh? Mess it up? As a parent, if you have multiple children, your subtitle is referee. Or if your children even just have friends, your subtitle is probably still referee. This hand's great. Transgress on two and to read the bones on three on the play. Sounds really strong. This could only get better if we had an object on five. We also have a ruinous path to deal with a siege rhino or a big threat that slips through. Uh, the Sylvan Advocates give themselves two two and all of your lands two two. You're ready for the click sound. He has a hollowed moonlight. That's good to know about. He can't cast Sylvan Advocate next turn. Hmm. This is tough. I probably need to spend the Ruinous Path to deal with... with one of his other threats. So I'm just going to take the Obnixilis because it's the card that could take over the game all on its own if things go wrong. We don't often have an empty hand, so Seagate Wreckage isn't worthwhile, I don't think. Well, he drew Wooded Foothills, which was easily his best draw because it allowed him to cur allows him to curve Advocate into into Abzan Charm. I'm just gonna spend this turn casting Ruinous Path, and the reason for this is playing Gideon into an empty board is very powerful. So now he can cast Abzan Charm this turn. Hopefully, he doesn't have a threat. That's really what we don't want. What did he draw? He drew Tassiger. God, those are like two really savage back-to-back -back draws. That's so gross. I felt really good when we looked at his hand, but if this is a Tassiger, we're in big trouble. Hopefully it's a Painful Truths. I really hope this is Painful Truths and not Tassiger. <sighs> the League is free. The League is free. The League is free. Just like, got to curve perfect perfects. Well, we drew Wrath, I guess. We got that going for us. <sighs> well, hopefully he drew Siege Rhino now, so we can play Siege Rhino, and then we get to Wrath them both away. Things worth noting. Drawing this was better than drawing Tainted Remedy or Duress. So I think even one for winning this, when he's going to activate Tassiger, this feels fine. Uh, lots of opponents play Truths in their GDD decks. <sighs> we're still we're still in a winnable spot this game, but like our opponent did draw. Both of his draws were very good. They allowed him to curve out very strongly. Um, you can have a Radiant Flames. We'll play around that. So he has. Charm, Flames, Moonlight, GDD at this point. He can activate. Bloodstained Mire gets Cinderglade. What you've seen now, because there's a little bit of delay in the chat, but, you know, for reference. I wonder if he just, like, jams GDD here. Nope. All right, so he's going to be able to Moonlight our Gideon activation up next. Hmm. I'm going to play Gideon just because it's the most mana-efficient play I can make this turn. I would also don't mind him Moonlighting this because that means he's not going to be able to Moonlight a secure later. I wouldn't be surprised to see him cast Dark Dwellers next turn just to flash back to Moonlight and get pressure into play. That allows us to cast our Grasp of Darkness, which is nice, and use all our mana as well. <sighs> 